For nearly a year now, ACMI News has joined the Cyrus Dolan Art Museum in piecing together an oral histories project. A series of testimonials about one of Arlington's favorite sons, the world-renowned sculptor Cyrus Dolan. This week, we look at Dolan, a Dolan masterpiece that pays homage to the area heroes who went to the battlefields of Europe in what humankind had hoped to be the war to end all wars. These brave warriors would win that war, but it cost them their lives. Praying Knight, also known as Modern Crusader, a 42-inch bronze equestrian statue, was cast by Cyrus Dallin in 1929. When Dallin received the commission in January of 1920, he said that the Praying Knight symbolizes the crusading spirit of those students who made the ultimate sacrifice. He continued, the war, World War I, could be justified only as a crusade against the forces of evil. Dedicated on May 29, 1930, Memorial Day, in the school's lobby near the headmaster's office, the inscription reads, This memorial is erected in honor of 11 sons of Cambridge High and Latin School who offered their lives for their country in the Great War. Their names were engraved on the plaque. The horse's stance is solid, it is outfitted for battle, its knight in medieval armor clasps his hands in prayer. Another classical equestrian sketch in clay, and a forerunner to the praying knight, is Dallin's Prayer in the Desert, circa 1914, also 42 inches. Its location is unknown. The statues are almost identical. Details are different, the visors of the helmet, the horse's stance, and the tilt of the head. Dallin created another knightly figure in the challenge in 1940, but this has also been lost. All of these allegorical crusaders are very different from Dallin's other World War I figures. Dallin's wife, Victoria Colonna Dallin, explains in her poem, the crusader of today does not go forth in shining mail with waving plumes upon a charger gaily caparisoned. He has no hope of winning some neighboring castle and its fair lands. He pauses not in the desert or in the wide plain to pray for the destruction of his foe and thank God for his goodness in aiding him in slaying his victims. The modern crusader wends forth to war, no golden crown to gain, but hoping that he may help at last to end war. A second praying night was given to Girls High School Boston because Dallin's wife, Colonna, as she was called by her family, had graduated from there. That bronze has been lost. The Cambridge statue stood in the foyer of High and Latin for 50 years, but during renovations in 1980, the praying night disappeared. 32 years later, in November of 2013, the Cyrus Dallin Art Museum identified the sculpture and helped the Cambridge School Department retrieve the statue. A fourth equestrian knight was created earlier in 1898. Don Quixote is a man of spirit riding a prancing horse and brandishing his shield and lance. William H. Downs, art critic, wrote, The Don Quixote is the artist's best work up to the present time. It is conceived in an absolutely ideal spirit and is enveloped in an atmosphere of romance, which is completely in harmony with that of Cervantes. It is one of the most delightfully original and imaginative of American sculptors. Don Quixote resides at the Museum of Art in Springville, Utah, and the Praying Knight is in a niche near the principal's office at Ringe and Latin, where it belongs. Downs continued, Dallin was not content with mere realism. He believed that the artist must interpret with insight the divine element in the subject on which he was working and reveal it to the world at large. This story will soon be added to the growing Cyrus Dallin website, focusing on the life and times of Cyrus Dallin. 
to see all the product projects produced by ACMI on Cyrus E. Dallin, just go to the Dallin Museum website, dallin.org. Again, that's dallin.org.